hello guys in this blender video i will be showing you how to make this exact wall like dome so we will start by first creating a cube now we need to give this cube the shape of a brick so first scale it on y axis and then X axis then we need to apply bevel modifier to smooth out think that's enough apply then go to edit mode and select these two faces then click on this Y button to view from the y axis perspective then scale this on z axis just about there now we need to duplicate this so shift and d to duplicate then z to give it a wall like structure then move so if you don't see these arrows for moving you can simply click here so we need to move just about here now we need to add additional bricks so it depends on you first we need to join them so select both of them and press ctrl plus J to add additional bricks we will use array modifier and uh, <coughs> set this to 0 and on y axis set it to 1 now it depends on you how many bricks you want to add I think that's enough now we got the basic shape of our wall so we need to uh, bend this in this type like a curve and like a doom so first select this and go to the deform modifier now you can see this weird shape first we need to set an axis for this to bend on so shift a and empty plane axis and select your wall and on the axis origin select empty now you need to turn it into bend mode and you can see it's bending so go to the x-axis viewport and you need, to, you need to bend this until this line is parallel to this line so you need to increase the angle now you can see that this is parallel to this z axis line so apply very basic dome shape now we need to add a circle so curve and circle go to the z viewport perspective now we need to scale this so that it matches uh, the length of the diameter of the circle matches the length of this wall I think that's good now the diameter of the circle is equal to the radius of the actual dome so we need to scale the circle by 2 so s and 2 now you need to move this circle upwards that's good now select your bricks 
and add curve modifier. In object select, select bezier curve. Now you can see this weird shape. So it's on x axis. So if you select negative x axis or not negative x axis, y, z, actually you need to play around with these settings. <coughs> so if this doesn't work, then you need to rotate. Now as you can see, uh, we have got exact same shape as we, ha we had before and uh, the size of uh, the last bricks is also, uh, the width is thin, thinner than original, so it's good. Now add an array modifier and make sure that array modifier is above on this curve modifier so click on this button now select uh, this x-axis and you need to reduce the value until both matches I think it's good now simply increase the count Here it is, the basic shape of the dome. Now you can delete this curve. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.